Welcome back to Life and Fork. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make an amazing shrimp poi right from your house. So I was at the Cubs game the other day, and I was craving this like shrimp po' boy or something like that. You know, something with a nice piece of bread or so, something just nice and hearty. And I decided, why not just try and make my own at home? So I'm going to guide you through the steps to make one real quick. The first thing we're going to do is get all our ingredients nice and ready like our mise en place, if that makes sense. So for this, I got some nice tomatoes on the vine. So I'm gonna take about three slices, nice sharp knife. Next, we're gonna take a lime, split it down the middle. This is gonna be to finish the shrimp. Over here, instead of using shredded lettuce, I'm gonna use something that they call like super greens, which I believe is a mixture of baby spinach, char, kale, and mizuna. So all I'm gonna do is just take a handful and then put that on my plate. Of course, I'm gonna take my nice fresh bun, split it down the middle, butterfly in it, not going all the way to the other side. I want it to be openable, so when I stuff it, it's almost like a little pocket. Set that aside. Now, onion. The onion, you might wonder what it's for. I'm not doing sliced onion in the sandwich, but I need a little small diced onion to finish the shrimp to give it a little bit more flavor. So all I'm gonna do is just take my onion, run it down the middle like this, and just take nice small dice. This one I can leave on my cutting board. I don't want it to get mixed in with the other ingredients. Now for the star of the day, the shrimp. What I got here is six uh, 26 30s. You can use any size shrimp, but what I'm trying to do is about six ounces of my sandwiches to make them nice and hearty. So what I'm gonna do, let me see if I can make it so you guys can see. I'm gonna take my shrimp, take a small paring knife, and I'm gonna butterfly it completely through. So then what you're left with is two pieces out of each shrimp. I'm gonna do that for the remainder of all the shrimp. Now that all our ingredients are nice and ready, now it's time to get some cooking going on. All right, so we're over here at the stove now. As you can see, I'm using my trusty wok. Uh, it's just something I like to use, it has a nice big, shape to it, keeps everything inside. So what I'm gonna do is just add about, about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of coconut oil. Let that melt out a little bit. Moving the pan to get it nice and even all the way around. This is gonna help prevent the shrimp from sticking to the wok as soon as I hit it. Now I'm gonna put my shrimp right in the middle. I'm going to put a pinch of kosher salt and start shaking them up. At this point, I'm going to add my onion. Only if you could smell, it smells amazing. Now I'm going to take my two pieces of lime, squeeze it right in the center. So I'm taking it back and forth to get all the flavor in there. Now as always when you're cooking seafood you don't want to overcook it. So what I'm looking for is the shrimp not to be translucent. Translucent means they're raw. What I'm looking for is more of like almost a opaque white. And I don't want the onions to burn out. So I'm gonna keep on moving them around to prevent them from overcooking. Here you can tell that the shrimp are nicely cooked already. So now we're gonna take it off the heat, let it stay in the pan to keep on proceeding to cook as we get ready to assemble the sandwich. All right, now it's time to assemble the sandwich. It's pretty simple, it's just a couple of easy steps. First, we're gonna take our bun, open it up. 
I'm gonna take some of the sriracha mayo and squirt it on the bottom. Then I'm gonna take a butter knife and just spread it evenly around to make sure it's distributed as evenly as possible. Okay. At this point, I'm gonna bring my shrimp. Now that the shrimp are nicely inside, I'm gonna add my slices of tomato going down one side of the bun. Before I top it with the greens, I'm gonna add a little bit more sriracha mayo. Now I'm gonna take my greens and assemble on top. And there you go. So there you go, you can see how easy that sandwich is. I mean, it's pretty simple, a couple of ingredients, a nice fresh toasted bun, all made in your own house. You know, and then you can add as much protein as possible. So there's the next step, of course, as you know, it's the taste test. So we're gonna try to squeeze this all together and take one big bite. It's a really good and really fresh. I mean, you can the bread itself was baked this morning at the local bakery, so you can taste the, how fresh the bread is and the shrimp and everything. It's amazing. So leave me any comments down below, any suggestions for a future video. Please hit subscribe, hit the bell for reminders. Love you guys. Until next time. Bye.